Shalom, shalom. Man, in today's video, I wanna talk about the exchange of Kasef in business. Let's talk about it. to the most high Yah. shalom thank you for tuning in to another episode man today i'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business man today we are talking about conducting business in israel man i can't encourage you enough to check out my other playlist you know i can't encourage you enough to check out my business playlist on this channel where i've got other informative uh, videos from everything telling you how to uh, start a business, how to start your LLC, giving you the framework of how to do it. Okay. The word Kasef, and I might be pronunciation that a little bit wrong. Uh, Kesef, when you look at how you pronounce it, is the Hebrew word for money. Okay. If you are to Google uh, or YouTube the word Kesef, when you see it pop up on YouTube, after doing a search, you're gonna realize that it's the entire Jewish community using that word in their dialogue of talking about doing business. Man, I want you to pay attention to some of these cash businesses that people run and operate. There's people out there that have the minds of the Gentiles that will tell you that cash is obsolete. They will tell you that, uh, you know, credit is king. And I'm not, I'm not saying nothing is wrong with credit. If you are disciplined and you do not become a slave to the lender. But when we think about doing business in Israel, you know, if I got a pocket full of Kesef, okay? I can go to let go. I can go to Facebook Marketplace. And the great benefit about that is, man, there's times where I need materials and man, I'll simply scroll for what I'm searching for. I can be looking for sheets of plywood and guess what? Here it is. Somebody's got sheets of plywood that cost $35, $40 per sheet in the store and you gotta pay taxes. Somebody's got sheets of it in their garage and they're maybe 20 minutes down the road and they want it for $10, $15 a sheet. That is a purchase that's gonna be made with Kess F. Now, if you were to take cash to Walmart, to low, a lot of these places are limiting their cash, but business in Israel, I'm always gonna go where I can negotiate and I can barter. A lot of you women, you understand, see, you move the room for negotiation. Say for instance, uh, you're going to some of these places where they take cash, you know, and they deal cash only. They got it on the sign. Credit card machine down, cash only. Got this sign duct taped up here, cash only. See, oftentimes we try to operate in business like the Gentiles do, like the heathens do, and miss out on a lot of opportunities. Man, you don't know, you know, times that I've been needing different tools, different materials, you know, furniture. And businesses, here's, here's another one. Businesses sometimes put their stuff up on Marketplace or these different apps for the sole purpose of targeting an audience that wants to spend cassette. You think about a lot of these laundromats 
That's a that's a coin based business, man. When I got back from a, a deployment, I started a, a a vending machine business, candy machines and vending machine. That is a coin cash cassette based business. Don't let these people fool you into thinking that you have to uh, swipe and plastic and, and, and digital currency. Don't. Now, I'm not telling you to, to shut yourself off from that, but here's, here's the thing. Man, when you go, if you were to look up the revenue of some of these cash businesses, it will shock you. And that's all I'm gonna say. It will shock you because you're gonna be wondering, man, how is this thing booming like this but the revenue is reported as this. And I'm talking about some of these places be jumping. You go to a, 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 a like in our town, we got a Chinese buffet, you know, and they accept cash only. Booming, lines out the door. You look up the revenue and you be like, you do a search, you be like, wait a minute, hold up. Hold up. Now you'll now you'll learn. See, the thing about they're cracking down on this Cash App stuff. They're tracking down on some of this Venmo. They're trying to, they're trying to anything that's uh not done in Kasef, man, they are tracking 100 percent These heathens want a piece of the pie. And if you don't believe me, here's another one. Your family could leave you something. A loved one could leave you something. And if you don't have yourself structured appropriately, these heathens are gonna get a piece of it. They're gonna get a piece of it. And then if you, uh, like I said, don't have yourself structured properly, they're not only gonna get a piece of it, they're dang near gonna get all of it and give you the scraps. And this is why I'm telling you, you know, when we think about the American cassette, it's 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 paper, printed paper. But if somebody, if you're doing business in Israel and you're you're talking about current and people are like, hey, I got silver, I got gold, and you know about it and how to spot some fake, how to spot fake uh, precious metals, you know then you should be open to accepting that also. Somebody's got a whole bunch of silver, silver coins and, 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 uh, and uh, you know, small gold bars. Man, that stuff adds up. Stuff adds up, you know? When you go to the flea market, man, that's a, that is a uh, cassette based business. Hand-to-hand cassette -hand transactions. A lot of businesses shut themselves off from making a lot of money. And I'm telling you, you know, what you're going to realize when you start looking at these different brackets and stuff like that, a lot of people don't realize that, man, you are paying an exorbitant amount of money for people that sit back and don't send you a, a a thank you note at the end of the year. These people are getting major salaries off of your work, off of your back, and you've structured your business to be in support of them. That's all I'm gonna say on that. That's all I'm gonna say. But doing business in Israel, Man, do not shut yourself off as a business owner by saying we don't accept Kasef. That's all I'm gonna say. Just the same way, uh, you know, if you look on Marketplace, man, there's all kind of stuff. People selling brand new refrigerators, brand new this and that. And then you pull up to these places and they be in warehouse, legitimate businesses. 
some businesses prefer to do transactions using cassette. You look at the nail salons. You look at the nail, uh, the hair salons. You look at your 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 coin laundry. You look at a lot of these restaurants where, like our Chinese buffet, there's probably some some people in there that ain't got papers, but they're dealing 100% in cassette. You look at the you look at the owners and the the, the managers, people living good got it figured out and if you i'm gonna tell you off the rip you know some of these places is gonna get if if you are not savvy and far as uh expensing out things oh you're gonna pay an exorbitant amount of money to the uh to the owners of this land you're gonna pay an exorbitant amount of money and the more you make, the more you're going to pay. You're going to enter into a new bracket. Man, I tell you, being true Israel, in spirit and in truth, and by bloodline, if you type in the word Kesef, K-E-S-E-F on YouTube, watch what comes up. You're going to see the synagogue of Satan, you know, the 2-9 community sitting up telling you how they do business and the, the importance of Kesef in their community. And we don't, we don't, we haven't been conditioned to operate like that. We haven't been conditioned to operate like that. You know, out where I live, there's plenty of farmers, people that sell stuff at the farmer's market. You know what they want? Kesef. Joke on the side of the road, selling watermelons with seeds in it. You know what he want? He wants Kasef. The guy, uh, you know, selling honey, he wants Kasef. There's a reason I'm telling you this. A lot of y'all is out there working, uh, and, you know, working in business and you're getting, you're shortchanging yourself because the wealthy, listen to what I'm saying, we've even had a president that will tell you he didn't pay taxes. He didn't pay taxes. But here you are volunteering yourself. Oh yeah, y'all want some more money? Take, take, here, here's some more. Let me send you another payment. Don't let nobody uh, fool you into thinking that Kasef is, is, is obsolete. I don't know about you, but it's still spending where I am. Still spending. Still spending where I am. And until uh, until it is obsolete, you know, this fiat currency, man, you better, hey, you better doggone use it while you can. Because here's the thing. Somebody pay you or somebody gives you $100 in cassette, in money, in currency. Man, you might be looking at a drill or something like that cost you $150, $200 in, in Lowe's or Home Depot, Walmart, wherever you get your stuff at. And you ain't getting no kind of tax break if you buying this stuff out of Walmart. They ain't giving you no kind of break. Even if you're a business owner, you ain't getting no kind of break. But if you go to where Kasef is accepted, now you can find that that the walk drill that was $150, $200. Now somebody's got one on there for a hundred bucks. hundred bucks with a small battery. Now you just coordinate. Hey, I'm telling you, I'm telling you how it gets done. Don't get so caught up in buying everything brand new. Everything is only brand new for a day. The minute somebody purchases it, it's used. No matter how much you say, man, it's still new. It's used. And this is why Kasef is very good at buying used stuff in good condition. I mean, we got a whole, whole furniture set we found on one of these apps where Kasef is the driving 
uh, currency. Whole furniture set. Somebody had bought a new furniture set, needed to get the old one out, and didn't want to have it paid to have it hauled away. Man, I was like, I give you, I give you fifty dollars for this. Sectional leather reclining chairs, cup holders, fifty dollars. My wife was originally looking at some of this stuff. She said, man, this stuff is expensive. Looking in stores, they want $2,300, $2,400 and talking about financing. Man, got on that marketplace, got some nice leather sections. But guess what? People want cassef. People don't want, people don't want you to uh, send them nothing that they have to report and track. No, give me that cassef. You know, I hope this helps you out on your journey. This is just one venture of you know one of my playlists where i talk about doing business in israel and how you can help keep your money uh internal to you internal to those that are like-minded like you you don't have to give these folk all your money so that's what today's video was about close to the yard ministries kicking this thing gun barrel straight Bow.